Mary TKDK here coming to you guys with this quick throwback Thursday video. Yes, so what I'll be doing is just doing a quick review on some old school products and they'll just be coming up randomly on a Thursday. You know, I'm not big on posting throwback Thursday. I don't know if that's even a thing anymore, okay? But I figured I would use it, flip it, and use it for makeup, okay? Everything can be used for makeup for the most part. So first things first, quick face of the day. Today I am wearing the, on my eyes, the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette in um, the walking the red carpet so real quick brow bone color is this color here transition color is this color here in my outer V defining area I have both of these colors mixed um, then I went back quick real brief with my transition area and added a little bit of this for a hint of a touch of glitter then on my lid I mixed both of these golds together so that's what I have I did not put down an eyeshadow base as in like a color base to make the colors pop more I just actually used only a primer on my eyelids and everything is staying all day and I really liked because I did not want a boom bam gold so that's why I did not use a gold base to make it pop out more I wanted a nice subtle look today on my face for foundation I have the Maybelline Dream Wonder foundation my review for that video for this um, foundation will already be up. I'll put a link to it below. Underneath my eyes to set my highlight, I'm still loving this Hoola Bronzing Powder by Benefit Cosmetics. Cheek highlight today is the Eyes Lips Face Baked Highlighter in Pink Diamonds. And on my cheeks today, I have been enjoying and loving a mix between Milani's um, between Milani's Dolce Pink and Coralina. Coralina blush so Dolce Pink Coralina and I've been mixing those two together so that's juicy quick face of the day now let's get to what's on my lips which is what I want to do my throwback Thursday about so one minute review starts now so the first things first when you see the package it's gonna come like this you're gonna just open the top pull this out and then your package comes out these look like they're about the size of the cream eyeliners online however they are huge when you first open it up, you will see that little tab right there. You can just pull it out, and boom, there's your product. Now, I have been putting the little protector back in there because I'm not sure how these will do well in the Texas heat in a car or just in your purse period in Texas heat. So I've been keeping that in there to kind of keep the product together. So let's get on to the colors. I have every single color in the entire collection. Um, so if you're interested in seeing them swatch, let me know, I'll do a separate video for that. I am wearing today the color Blissful Berry. So as you can see, it's like a beautiful mauve berry color. That is the color that I have on today. And then I'm gonna show you the creamy consistency of it. The color that I'm about to swatch for you is the nice and natural and so that's that color nice and natural so as you see when you put it on it gives you the hint of gloss and chapstick but it also gives you a little bitty touch of color so I really do like these products um, the conditioning lip balms they do feel like a lip balm they also have a scent to them it's not an overpowering scent or something that I would not mind um, having on my lips and it does go away it doesn't stay if you're sensitive to scents it does go away it doesn't stay on your lips the lasting power of these they last like a chapstick wood so you are going to have to reapply it as needed but I can definitely say that I paid $150 for these they retail for $3 that is a good price to me for this a million and a half ounces of product that you get the actual ounces that you get is 0 0.26 ounces of products like I said it's a very huge packaging it's going to last you forever the only thing that I would suggest is that you apply it with a brush I really wish that they um, included a brush in here and also they have so much excess packaging they could have honestly built in a little brush up here somewhere so if you are interested definitely check them out I hope truly hope that you enjoyed this quick throwback Thursday makeup review so just take a look back take a look in your collection see what you have if you haven't been using in a while and if you've never reviewed it then why don't you do a throwback Thursday make a video and tag me in your comments so I can come and check your video out all right thank you so much for tuning in I will see you guys in the next video bye